Hey there, do you have any secrets? Well, I'm Bob Freehand, and we have a lot of secrets at the St. Clair Historical Museum. And today we're in the Diamond Crystal Salt Room at the museum, and we're going to talk about some of the artifacts of Diamond Crystal Salt. We're going to tell some stories about those artifacts, and maybe even some secrets. Now, Diamond Crystal Salt is manufactured in the, that plant across the Pine River Bridge on the St. Clair River that's now run by Cargill. As I said, we're going to talk about some artifacts of Diamond Crystal Salt. Now, here's my first artifact. And this is a Diamond Crystal Salt hat. Not one that the people wear in the plant, but one that we have that reminds people that the company manufactures Diamond Crystal Salt. And here's another artifact. We call him Salty. And he's a stuffed animal. So you say, what's an artifact? Well, Salty's an artifact. And he's, as I said, he's a stuffed animal. You may have a stuffed animal at home that you keep. You may not use it anymore. You may have a game that you, don't, you keep, but you don't have, use it anymore. You may have a toy or a trading card or something like that that you keep but you don't use it anymore, once in a while you might look at it, but it reminds you of something. It reminds you of a story. It reminds you of a person. Some special event in your life. That's what an artifact is. It's a reminder of a story. It's not just an object, but a reminder of a story. A stuffed animal, like Salty, is a reminder of the Diamond Crystal Salt Company. Now, here's another artifact of the Diamond Crystal Salt Company. This is a box of Diamond Crystal Kosher Salt. Now, if it looks familiar on that plant, the Diamond Crystal Salt or the cargo plant across the Pine River Ridge, on top of the building, there's a box that, box that looks just like this, only it's about 50 times as big as this one. It's not filled with Diamond Crystal Salt, but it's a reminder. It's an artifact. It's a reminder of what's made inside that plant. Now, you say, why, diamond, why is it called Diamond Crystal Salt? Well... When they started making it using a special process and they looked at the salt flakes under a microscope, they looked like little diamonds. They reflected like little diamonds. And so they started calling this product Diamond Crystal Salt. And it still has that name today. Now, Salty reminds us of the history of Diamond Crystal Salt. And if you went way back, over a hundred years, you would see men building these big, what looked like oil rigs. And they were drilling down into the ground, down more than a thousand feet below the ground. And they would pump water down there. And that water would dissolve a, a layer of salt that's down there. And it would come back up. And it was real salty water. And they called that brine. And then they would pump that brine into tanks. And those tanks are still there today. They're across from the plant near the marina. And then the brine was pumped across the street into the plant and the water was evaporated, it was heated up until the water turned to steam. And that steam is why we, when sometimes when we go past the plant, we see those big clouds of steam coming out of the plant. It's not smoke, it's actually just steam. And then what's left after that are these little diamond crystal salt granules. Now originally, the diamond crystal salt was put into these big barrels and those barrels were shipped all over the United States for used in food. Now later on in the 1900s the ladies that were working in the packaging department they started packaging diamond crystal salt in artifacts like this. This is a container it's about 80 years old it's filled with diamond crystal salt and that was sold in the grocery stores so you could take it at home and put it on food, on your food at home. Now, diamond crystal salt is used in all kinds of foods that we recognize very much. Kraft macaroni and cheese, Lay's potato chips, Gatorade, Kellogg cereals, Campbell soups. And another secret of the diamond crystal salt is that if you have McDonald's french fries at any McDonald's restaurant across the United States, 
whether it's San Diego or Miami or New York City, the salt that they put on is diamond crystal salt and it's manufactured right here in St. Clair because diamond crystal salt is only manufactured here in St. Clair. Now our last secret, our last artifact and our last secret of the Diamond Crystal Salt Company is part of a game that we're going to play at the end of each episode. We're going to ask you to identify an artifact and then write that down and then at the end of all of these episodes send it in for the opportunity to win some prizes. Now the artifact I have today this is what it is. It's a diamond crystal salt artifact. It's more than just salt. It's a particular object. You can move it back and forth. And what I'd like you to do is to identify this, what you think it is, write that down on a piece of paper, put the word, or put the number one next to it and the word salt. Now you can have help in, in identifying this particular artifact. And then at the end of all of these episodes, you can send your answers in for an opportunity to win some prizes. I'm Bob Freehand, and thank you for joining us on Secrets of the St. Clair Museum. <laughs>